My god. It all makes sense now. These characters in which we fought, we knew nothing about. Now, we know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. This was foreshadowing the entire time. And we got this completely wrong. Yeah. I'm stunned even Tyon's freaking out. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade 3. Apologies for, you know, us talking just now. Just basking Please in me. what will be in the future. In which we shall redeem for the low price of £27. <laughs> but anyway though, in the last episode, we started, in fact, yes, on the expansion pass and started off with the lovely blade Eno and clearly you can tell she's based on a lot of things on a lot of people her tassels are pirates <laughs> and Rex is simply enjoying the time and not only that we also got a bit more of a wardrobe uh, get up hello Yes, <laughs> we have new clothes. Anyway, yeah, Mio, Senna, and Tyron are both dressed up in their new get-ups. So hey, who do you know? Agnes actually got makeovers. Kavesi, not so much. <laughs> well, Uni and Noah. They took on different classes, yes, and Lands is still in Miyabi's dress. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> Either way, now, let's start off on the second part of our quest. We have a new hero to unlock. So I'd say, let's get to it. We'll get to the other stuff later on. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> I did not intend that. I had no idea. I promise that. Oh my, oh my. Whatever is the meaning of this? That's most peculiar. There had never been any issue with me hitching a ride on an armory before. Now you're telling me that I, moi, Yours truly may not accompany you. Elder's orders, ma'am. Please don't make things difficult, Miss Masher. You know well enough. I don't have the authority to permit your departure without at least a platoon for protection. Yes, I do understand, of course. Sensible, really. Given poor Uncle Gurney's horrid plight, heightening security on all outbound transports, are we, Monny, dearest? I've needs too. Forget platoons. I've a mind to enlist every lost number there is. Would that suit you better? That said, perchance, if you were to reconsider, I would be more than capable of fending for myself. Do you see what I'm alluding to? I'm in no position to decide, Mom. In any case, I'm afraid you'll have to take it up with the Elder. Oh. I commend your obedience. Thank you. That'll be all. Oh, uh, what a wet blanket. And here I was, so raring to go. I feel as a babe cast by the wayside to business. Let's see. How might I foil Monny Dearest's little arrangement? Side of the city and if so might it trouble you to take me with you that came out of nowhere who even are you you don't know 
This is Lady... Ah, where are my manners? Please forgive my impertinence. It's simply that I'm in something of a hurry. Masha, pleased to make your acquaintance. Hi, Masha. Where... Oh, I know full well who you are. You're a known quantity here, my dears. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone in the city who doesn't know of you. You said you wanted to accompany us. Why? Gosh, aren't you a cautious one? It's nothing of grave importance, I assure you. I just happen to have some personal matters to attend to in the Faunus region. The Aegis Wilderness, to be precise. It may surprise you, but I happen to have a modicum of skill in battle, above that of the average layperson. It wouldn't be the first time I've left the city. In fact, I'm rather accustomed to working on my own. But it seems I've been met with some skepticism. Dear me. Pull the other one. You can fight. Her attire certainly doesn't conform to lost numbers dress code regulations. It's about as far from military fatigues as you can get without falling off the edge of the world. Yes, yes, I get that a lot. But I'm afraid my fashion sense is non-negotiable. Only when one pursues beauty with every breath is it that one may validate proof of one's existence. Uh, sure. Aegis Wilderness, huh? We might not be going there for some time. Is that okay? No trouble at all. I'm sure you have your own duties to fulfill. I hope you'll allow me to humbly assist you as a concerned and dedicated representative of the city. Well, as you can see, I could not have found more exceptional bodyguards. You'll have no qualms now, I hope. Ah, give Moni dearest my regards, won't you? Very well. All right, people, what say we get a move on? Time waits for no cognoscenti. Yeah, okay, keep your air on. Well, guess you with us for a while then, Masha. Don't worry, you'll be in good company. We've made some new friends. The Eagles Wilderness is fast. We should make ingress from the Zem's Crossway side. That's right at the border with the flats, right? If we're heading into the wilderness, we best do it from here. You reek of bayonetta. <laughs> I am so sorry. It is the accent. It is the calm, cool exterior. I love it. I have muscle memories from X still kicking in. Like I tried to do the trigger to jump. I tried to access the... Frontier now playing using the button. <laughs> you go back and forth. Yeah. I also tried to push in the button to sprint. Why can't every game be the same as the other? Because that's what makes Monolith awesome. Well, lady, we're here. The Aegis Wilderness. Like you asked. Lady? I do have a name, you know. Um... So, Masha, what's the plan now? You are aware of the Annihilation events, yes? Of course we are. Do you think we've had our heads stuck in the mud or something? Well, I happen to be looking for a patch of land that was the site of such an event. The Aegis Wilderness, being prone to frequent events, makes it a prime location for my purposes. Except that runs the risk of us walking straight into another one ourselves. Yeah, we better not stick around here too long. Hold on. Tyon used to be in Agnes's survey branch. I think he's researching the area. Wonderful. Music to my ears. There's one old site. The survey branch maps have it labeled as Piento Basin. It's something of a trek, but it might be sensible to head there instead of us wandering around aimlessly for hours. My, what a strikingly valuable piece of information. I couldn't have asked for more. We'll go with you. You don't want to be dealing with all the monsters roaming around here alone. <laughs> a most gracious offer. I suppose I'll take you up on that. So, what's so important about this place, anyhow? 
A picture is worth a thousand words, my dear. If luck should favor us, you're sure to find out soon enough. Look, Martin's Paris and Agnes are leaving. Zones. You must have nerves of steel. <laughs> you flatter me to no end, loves. No, seriously, I think you're a nutcase. <laughs> 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 no, but no. Already, I'm kind of digging Masha because with the way that her accent is and the way she's dressed, but her dialogue. It's like waiting for a beautiful spectacle to lash out. It's like, you seem good on the surface, but what's beneath it? Like, what's going to tip you over the edge, I wonder? <laughs> Are you going to be like how Sheba was? <laughs> like, poor glitz and glamour, but when someone takes money from you, oh, you're kicking nope on into next week. Yeah. <laughs> That's still one of my favourite moments from 2. Just seeing she just kicking up on Team Rocket style. <laughs> oh, that game was so many good memories. And this one has two. I love doing Let's Plays of these games. I do too. I uh, don't mean to get sentimental seeing how base game we're kind of seeing the horizon, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I've loved all this. Yeah. And hope you guys have all enjoyed it. Monster alert. Oh, I will be fine. What a thorn in our sides. No, it's okay. We got this. The match is a healer. I wonder how she'll play. I like how Mia was ready for fighting, but then she just completely ignored. I'm the one you want. Thanks for the support. Keep it up, Senna. Summon Element. Break. Airpower. Top one. Elemental discharge. Where is Masha? We can do better yet. Oh, there she is. She has what looks to be discs. I'm the girl with the gall. And I'm the girl who found the stuff. <laughs> my, oh my! To think that I would find one so soon. Let it never be said that the fruits of one's labors are not rewarded. What have you got there? Again, I must extend to you my deepest thanks. I would never have laid my hands upon this were it not for your sterling efforts. It's... a rock? Looks like a rock to me. Hmm. Those are unusual inclusions. I've never seen anything like it. It's as if a number of different types of stone have all been interlaced. On the ball once more, your assessment is absolutely correct. This stone was formed after several types of subterraneous minerals were exposed to tremendous energy, merging into one. Tremendous energy? The annihilation effect. <laughs> it finally clicked, I see. You might even call this stone a new type of mineral, a curious byproduct of annihilation. As it is created through sheer chance, it is vanishingly improbable that one might reproduce it through human means. So it's a pretty precious stone then, is what you're saying? <laughs> Do you see now why it is that I was so adamant to depart the city? It does seem pretty special. But what are you going to do with it? Wear it? Not a terrible idea, really. But no, I already have a different purpose for it in mind. Oh, yeah? Indeed. Allow me to reiterate before I recapitulate. 
a picture is worth a thousand words. Chosen friends, might I ask you to return with me once more to the city? Indeed, what outcome might this ill-omened stone, born of calamity, bring about? In due time, I will show you. Shake the matter. No point lingering here. Let's continue this somewhere altogether more comfortable in the city. Now that sounds like a plan. I like how both of these new heroes are bought for possibly new collectibles. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that, but hey, if it introduces new characters, then I guess. I'm surprised Riku had nothing to say on the matter because he was always inter interested in the special stones and gems. Riku still have wings full. <laughs> Does friend not listen? <laughs> My God. But I also do like how each new collectible is exclusive and useful and ties into a character specifically. So it's not just fluff for the sake of fluff in some ways. Without further ado, heavens above, I'd completely forgotten. W what is it? I'm so sorry. I failed to mention what is arguably the most vital facet of my identity. Come again? Um, I know it's rather late, but allow me to formally introduce myself. Masher, lapidarist extraordinaire at your humble service. Lapi what now? A lapidarist extraordinaire, my dear. An artisan of the crafts, if you will, in drab layman's terms. I specialize in gem processing and precious metalwork, mainly. But I also dabble in many other types of ornamentation. Huh. Sounds like you keep busy. Ah, could I trouble you for a bigger reaction? Uh, you're the fabled Lapidarist Extraordinaire, or how inspirational would fit well in this conversational beat. If anything, I'm surprised you had time to learn to fight like you do, on top of all your other hobbies, I'd say. Oh, I hadn't considered that possibility. Thank you for your honest opinion. These crafts you're talking about, you can make something from that stone. I can. And I shall. Let's see. Judging by the quality of this stone, it might make for a fanciful ring. Normally, it's my policy not to show my methods to the general public. But I'll make an exception this time, just for you. Now watch as the city's lauded lapidarist extraordinaire flaunts her artisanal prowess. Or crafting of accessories and this ties into what Masha was introduced with mm -hmm. regarding a certain battle area random effect for the sake of randoms do you want to have something completely OP you never know Things are going to get wacky okay, and things are going to get random. Do we have any snacks? And a new thing has been added to our campsite, so this will be cool. And now I'm going to assume each ring, collar and bangle, they are going to be different. That ought to do it. Enhancing crafted accessories have an iron grey, can each be enhanced iron grey five materials like in a manner requires... Right, so... <laughs> and you unlocked... Tuck that away safely now. 
suffering from Blaze. You can spare it to craft three accessories. These cannot be sold, but if you can dismantle ones you have a use so use for. So this is essentially a gachapon of of um, equipment. Hmm. So we weren't quite done with that aspect about it. Ha <laughs> Beautifully done, if I do say so myself. Durable and easy to refine. I made the right call picking that stone for an accessory. Mio, I'd like to impart this ring to you. Huh? Are you sure? Never more. Take it and keep it to commemorate our meeting. Wait, didn't you go searching for that stone because you wanted the ring? They do say that curiosity and danger are two trunks of the same tree. What you ought to know about me is that I live as I please. That's really all there is to it. I'm surprised. That's not the kind of mentality I'd have expected from one of the city folk. Yes, you'd think that, wouldn't you? But having different thoughts and beliefs, that's what makes us human. Just as the people of House Vandom march on Mobius, waving the banner of war, so do you have House Doyle, who stay back, putting the city's preservation above all else. But that's not to say everyone who chooses pacifism thinks the way a Doyle might. Myself, for instance. But aren't we supposed to all be working together to defeat Mobius? Yes, I acknowledge that truth as well. It's a thorny question, to be sure. But be that as it may, I simply cannot in good conscience abandon my principles. Even straying from the soldier's path, how could I deride anyone who seeks meaning in life? Who strives for an enlightened future? <sighs> the city today is a melting pot, one great messy confluence of thoughts. But I'm of the belief that one day they will all meld together to create sweet, perfect harmony. Much like the stone that we discovered. Incidentally, and I'm sorry to change the subject, I think I've taken quite a liking to you all. And on that note, I have a suggestion. What would you say to entering into an exclusive contract with moi? Huh? Contract for what? It would grant you the right to receive my premium services as a lapidarist extraordinaire, expressly and expeditiously. Clearer now? And that applies to you, especially. M me You have the makings of a model, Mio. Such qualities are rare to come by. You are a diamond in the rough, my dear. <laughs> I can see it now. You'll be a future trendsetter. Thanks, I guess. Oh, but I wouldn't dream of forcing you. That would go against my principles. All right, my dears. Might I have an answer? Yeah, okay. I wouldn't mind that. What's everyone else think? I don't see why not. Sounds like a good offer to me. You're gonna make gear for us, yeah? Can't say no to that. No objections from me. Nor me. And you evidently know how to handle yourself. Yeah, I want a ring just like Mimi's. Splendid. Then it's a done deal. Oh, one more thing. I'll have to ask you to procure the necessary materials for my work. And, of course, I'll have to ask you to reimburse me for the labor as well. What? Oh, come on! You're gonna charge us? Some generosity, that is. <laughs> on the contrary, I'd be more wary of anyone who offers their services for free. 
And besides, I pride myself on my skills as a lapidarist extraordinaire. Rest assured that any articles you request will be delivered to the highest possible standard. Satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> hi, <sighs> I'm Stan. Who would have thought she likes Mio? <laughs> He's still moving! A combat healer who heals near but as on critical hits can also set fields and use his HP on art use. Now this is an ultimate healer and I really like it. Because on critical hits, so you can deal damage as well as taking heals. Mm -hmm. That for me is a nice piece of work. So now I'm kind of in two minds about this. For one, exclusive gear from Annihilation Effects. Awesome. Good. The fact that you have to pay whatever currency you have to, and the fact that the effects or buffs are random, that could be a middling thing. It can either be a massive waste of time or a great boon to your fighting efforts, depending on your luck. Then again, though, this is, this is nothing strange. It's a Xenoblade. I will say, however, and this might be just me being ignorant or me not paying attention to the dialogue, but the one thing that I can appreciate about Masha is that she vividly described what House Vandom and what House Doyle are. Yeah. Like, we've heard those names go back and forth throughout this plot, whether it's the main plot, the side quests, or Ascension quests, or whatever, whatever the hell. I didn't know who was who, and why things were different. Yeah. <laughs> In that one cutscene, Masha says, yeah, Vandom's taking out Mobius, meanwhile Doyle is protecting the city. It took me until the expansion pass to know that. Yeah. <laughs> why? Uh -huh. Why? But, you know, that goes into a couple more things, which I really want to talk about in a separate video. Maybe after it's all said and done, this LP, Expansion Pass, and other things that have been announced today, as of 19 of April of 2023, mm -hmm. once all that content is done and dusted, then maybe we can get a vivid video out in which we can describe things knowing full context and everything has been laid out on the table. Yeah. But, who's to say? Anyway, is there anything which you want to do for this episode, or is you all about ready to go? I'm ready to go. Alright guys, well in that case, we'll see you next time, in which, you know what, I fancy getting some more ether. So, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, we shall be indulging. You know what? I kind of like that design on her. Yeah, me too. Look, it looks like a souped up Nia. Yeah. Nia's all about the fighting. Meanwhile, Mash is all about the elegance. <laughs> and also, I want to say one thing about Mash's design before I close off. I like how every oh, single aspect to... Of... Thanks, Uni. Mm. I like how Mash's design is all about gems. Like about that her earrings are gems. Her hair is very unique, I love it. It's got a core crystal, of course. The neck thing she has, I'm not good at fashion, as you can tell. <laughs> it's all gem. She's just a very gem person. Well, one thing me and the internet can't understand is how her hair works. I would like to assume it's it's either being strung through, like, like those things are hollow. Yeah. Or she just cut off a bit of her own hair and then attached it in the inside of those bells. <laughs> or maybe they're extensions, I don't know. Possibly. Who knows? It's Blades and plus a JRPG. It could run on magic for all we know. <laughs> they could have magic hair. Well, either way, guys, on that note, thank you for watching. And of course, if I like this video, then please be sure to like it. And if you want to follow us on the Xenu Bay Chronicles free journey, then please by all means to subscribe. And we'll see you next time for more Xenoblade free content. See you next time guys, because we are drawing ever so closer to our future being redeemed. Mm -hmm. Subtle hit not. See you next time. <laughs>